Hello and welcome to my new vlog. This is Tuti and I'm accompanied Tucci. by Zach. Meet Luis. She's one of my best friends from college and I'm going down to Atlanta, Georgia in one month to visit her for graduation. One thing you have to know though is that she's French. I've always wanted to speak to her in her language and now I can do just that. I'm going to study French for the next 30 days and surprise her by having a conversation with her in her own language. This is the most nervous I've ever been to learn something new, but I'm also more excited than ever. I've already planned my trip and she knows I'm going to be there. All that's left is for me to learn to speak a new language in just 30 days. Allons-y! One of my favorite experiences that I had while studying abroad was a solo trip that I took to Freiburg, Germany. As I was exploring, I came across this little mountain thing that overlooks the city. And as I went up there, I saw probably hundreds of what looked like college-aged German kids. I didn't really know what was going on, but at that point I'd taken like three or four years of German on and off. I remember vividly standing there, looking at the party, kind of blending in and thinking to myself, this is my opportunity, right? Like, when you hear about people that study abroad and they meet the locals and they do all these fun things, I was like, this is my moment. And so I built up the courage and went and talked to a girl next to me. I was like, was ist passiert hier? I was trying to communicate like what's going on. I think what came out was more like what is happening. You know, it was the start of a conversation and she kind of told me that they were all med students and this was like a, a big party that they would have every once in a while. Um, and so we talked for a little bit, she kind of got to know that I was a student from the United States and I met like her group of friends and ultimately they invited me out. And so after we left like this little lookout area, uh, we went to go get dinner, then I went back to their apartment and then we went out that night. If I didn't have the ability to go up and kind of present myself in German and at least make an effort with the language, I never would have had this incredible experience and meet these awesome people. I was living the study abroad dream and it was only because I had learned the language. So that's another reason I want to learn French to hopefully open myself up to similar experiences in either France or other countries that speak French as well. The problem is, even after five years of learning German, I still sometimes struggle to have a conversation in the language. If I'm going to be able to talk to someone in French in 30 days, a couple things are gonna to need to change. The focus on the first few days is going to be learning words and phrases that I'm going to use a lot in conversation. Something that Charlie, the guy from State of Mind did, was track his conversations in Italian, another language that he had learned recently, and find what the most common hundred words were whenever he spoke Italian. Then, when he started learning Spanish, he would just practice those hundred core words. This is the basis of what Charlie calls the tower method, where when you're learning a new language, you focus on the verbs, prepositions, and adjectives, and begin to connect them through common phrases. For the first week of French, I'm going to be focusing on just these pillars. Bonjour. Aujourd'hui, c'est le premier jour de apprentissage du français. I did not know that French already. In fact, I am reading off of my computer, and that is the best that I could do. So, the first few days were pretty straightforward. I researched 40 to 50 words a day, picking only the words that I thought I'd actually use in conversation. I wrote down the words in English on one side and the translations on the other. Once the cards were all filled out, yes. I practiced reciting the words, Three. trying to look only at the no. English words, and just no. memorizing the French translation. Thank you. As I went about my day, I would try and recall the words in French and start to speak to myself in French as much as I could. Today's day four. I thought I would do a little progress check update. We've got four note cards here. Repetition's going well, practice is good. Um, I'm getting most of the words down, but I think the memorization really comes when I start to put them into sentences. Bonjour. Aujourd'hui est le deuxième semaine de pontage de français. J'ai les deux uh, note cards avec des mots et des phrases. Uh, je peux dire des phrases faciles. Je viens des États-Unis. Je parle, je parle allemand. Qu'est-ce que tu as mis faire? J'ai mis visiter Paris. Looking back at all of that, I'm sure I made a lot of mistakes, and I'm sure a lot of it didn't sound good, but. Um, that's kind of what we're working with. Honestly, I'm a little bit disappointed. A lot of what I just recited, I've had to practice or I had to read off of the note card. Like, my memory is not really there, and it's currently April 24th, and on May, I think, 7th is when I'm having my conversation. So, there's still time, obviously, but I don't know. I think with, like, other things I've done in the past, there, there wasn't the potential embarrassment at the end. Right now, I feel like I'm going to show up um, and talk to my friends and just be like... 
I don't know, they're just not going to be able to understand anything that I say. And then if they speak back to me, I'm just, it's going to be so fast or I'm just not going to have a good enough understanding that we're not actually going to be able to have a conversation. Another thing that I've started doing today that I'm going to incorporate into my practice is focusing on what I want to have in my conversation. So one of my friends that I'm going to be talking to is graduating from college. One of the questions that I asked was, qu'est-ce que tu préfères à propos de Georgia Tech, which is where we go to school. What I need to do is be able to have that question prepared, understand any words that my friend might use as a response, and then be ready to answer that question myself. So I think that's another way that I can better prepare for this conversation is to come up with a structure for it. So instead of just sitting there and coming up with whatever's on the top of my head, maybe treat it like an interview and have five to 10 questions prepared that we can kind of go through and I can hopefully be ready for any response that she might have. So those are my thoughts two weeks in. I'm trying to be open and vulnerable about this experience. And I really, really want to be able to talk to my friends in French, like probably more so than any challenge I'll be doing in the next you know, year or whatever. Like this is so important to me and I really, really do not want to fail. Bienvenue au nouveau. C'est jour 21 de Pantasage du Français. Je suis dans le Maine pour les vacances. Ma conversation avec mes amis est en six jours et je suis terrifié. Je pense que la surprise sera amusante, mais quand je prends une nouvelle langue, je vais parler avec mes amis beaucoup plus tôt. Mais nous y sommes. Voici mon objectif pour les prochains jours. At this point in the challenge, I've gone through quite a bit of note cards. It's about 256 words and 63 phrases, and I'd like to say that I've memorized all of them, but that's definitely not true. I probably got about half of them locked in memory, and the other half I keep having to review whenever I need to. Pronunciation is another big thing that I want to focus on. French, more so than I think German or English, is very difficult to understand if you can't pronounce it well. In English, you can kind of get by with a bad pronunciation. People can pick up the gist of what you're saying. But in French, it's really difficult to know what words are being said if you can't get all of the sounds right. If you listen to my intro to day 21, I'm sure you can tell that my pronunciation is not great. The other thing I wanna focus on is my comprehension. I'm pretty confident that I can say the words that I need to say in the conversation, especially if I memorize all of the note cards. I can ask the questions I wanna ask, I can give the responses I wanna give, but my fear is I'm not gonna understand what they say back to me. Comprehension is difficult, again, if you don't know the pronunciation, and a lot of times, even when they're speaking slower, I'm struggling to understand. My focus for the next six days is gonna to be to absolutely nail down the rest of these note cards. I'm gonna study them, I'm gonna memorize them, I'm gonna get every word down, locked in my memory. There's a lot of other things that would be nice to know, like French slang, but honestly, I'm traveling a lot in the next couple days, and I'm not gonna have a lot of time to really dig into French, so this is all I got. Croissons les doigts et à bientôt. It's officially day 27, and I'm going right now to have my conversation with my friend in French. Um, I'm sure I'll have some reflections after, but right now I'm a little bit nervous. Um, comprehension is still really hard, but I feel like the memory has gotten better. And I can kind of string together sentences, so I don't know, I'm just excited. I don't think she knows. I think it's going to be a surprise. Um, but yeah, here we go. Okay, so you know how like my thing has been learning things? For like 30 days. Yeah. So I did like working out one and then I did guitar. Yeah. Depuis le 30 jours, je prends le français. No way! Oui. <laughs> really? Oui. You keep saying stuff in French. Um, uh, J'ai un peu oh, un peu question pour toi. Oui. Um, Préfères-tu uh, à propos de Georgia Tech? Um... Les personnes que j'ai rencontrées. Ok. Ouais. Ouais. Ok. Euh, et après moi. Les gens. Ouais. Um, et. Il y a tous les mots et. Travailleur. Travail. Travailleur. Hardworking. Ou travail bien. Ok. Ou travail bien. Oui. Et. Um, uh, Ami amicable? Amical. Amical. Qu que, Qu'est-ce que ton meilleur souvenir d'école? Um, je pense un de mes meilleurs souvenirs. Ok. C'est quand j'ai revu, revu, 
ouais. tout le monde après le Covid. Okay. Genre retrouver tout le monde et juste passer du temps avec eux. Après euh, beaucoup de temps, genre loin les uns des autres. J'ai des crampes au pas. <rire> ok. Quand, quand tu retrouves tous tes amis okay. et t'es content, t'es heureux parce que ça fait très longtemps que tu les as pas vus. Genre. Non. <rire> euh... Do you want me to say the second one? Yeah. Uh, It's, so, did you have the first part? Just, yeah. Quand j'ai revu des gens, mes amis, like when I saw my friends again, right. après le Covid. Right, right, yeah, after Covid. Parce que, because. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ça yeah. faisait longtemps. It was, it's been a long time. Okay, like, right, right, right. Since right, I'd right. seen everyone. Yeah, 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 okay. Et un autre de mes meilleurs souvenirs. Okay. C'était quand. Toi, moi et John, on allait courir yeah. sur le campus une fois genre par semaine ou toutes les deux semaines, semaine week. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ça j'aimais beaucoup. I liked a lot. Ok. <rire> yeah, yeah. Ok. Ok. Uh, Préférez-tu vivre uh, uh, aux États-Unis et, et France et euh, euh, ou France et, pour, et pourquoi euh, Je sais pas. Okay. <rire> Parce que aux États-Unis, j'aime beaucoup la ville et bah, j'ai tous mes amis. Mm. Et en France, j'ai ma famille yeah. et j'ai aussi mes amis. <rire> Donc je sais pas. Ok. Uh... Il est un peu stressé. Je suis un peu Je suis en train de penser. Est-ce que c'est recordé? Oui. Ok, parce que je jouais avec deux. Peux-tu me dire um, quelque chose en amusant en français? C'est une expression que je pense beaucoup, mais je ne peux jamais le dire parce que je ne peux pas vraiment le traduire. On ne change pas. So we don't change. Okay. Une équipe, a team, qui gagne, who wins. On, on ne change pas une équipe qui gagne. On ne change pas une équipe, une équipe qui gagne. Qui gagne. Yeah. C'est so, bien. Ok. Wait, I didn't hear you say that. On ne change pas. On ne change pas. Une équipe. Une équipe. Qui gagne. Qui gagne. On ne change pas. Une équipe. <laughs> une équipe. Qui gagne. Qui gagne. And what does it what does that translate to? It's again? like you don't. So essentially, it means like you don't change a winning team, kind of. Mm. But it's always like I don't know. Imagine like this. Is actually, not true. But like imagine Jordan sucked at cooking. Right. And she tried to cook. And once again, it sucked. Like I don't know. She like set fire to the stove or whatever. Okay. You'd say on change for a qui gagne. It's kind of like, oh, uh, as per usual. Uh, like kind of funnier way of saying okay, it. Okay, gotcha. What do you like in the fact of being very French? I like a lot the food. Yeah, yes, yes. And the fromage and the wine. And I like a lot the culture. For example, when you're in France, et tu vas dans la ville, les bâtiments, l'architecture, mm. c'est toujours très joli. Il y a beaucoup d'histoire. Tu sais ça Most of it. Ok. Yeah, wait, ok, say it all again. En, en, en France, l'architecture a beaucoup d'histoire et de culture. It has a lot of history. Oh, oh histoire, yeah. Oui. Tu parles euh, anglais et oui. euh, français. Oui. Et on peut t'acheter et de russe. Oui. Um, y a-t-il autre langue uh, que vous tu apprendre Oui, euh, 
j'aimerais bien allemand. la reprendre. Oui, allemand, <rire> parce que je connais déjà un peu d'allemand. Ok. Et italien, parce oui. que je trouve ça très beau. Ok. Très joli. On oh, devrait son nom. Italien. Ouais. Il sait why. Parce que c'est beau. It's pretty. Oh, okay. <rire> uh, As-tu une question pour moi Oui. Ça fait, ça fait combien de jours que tu apprends le français Ça how? How many days Ok. Uh, Aujourd'hui est jour. Uh, Intercept Non. Vine, vine set. Non, 27. Oui, 27 yeah. Ok. Oui. Et 27. tu. 27 Oh my god. Oui. Wow. Et tu apprends sur quel. Euh, tu utilises quoi pour apprendre Genre Duolingo mm, ou... Non. Um, J'écris. Oui. Uh, de no cards ouais. um, et c'est le 100 most common uh... um, pour moi ok uh, so. mm, two, so. uh... oui et, et phrase oui oh, je suis désolé excusez moi ouais. um, verse yeah. um, oui Okay. So there you have it, the culmination of 30-ish days of studying French. When I watch other YouTubers make similar videos to this, they seem like their conversations go so well. They have fluent levels of communication with the native speaker, they're able to really get everything across that they're trying to say, they can understand everything that, that the native speaker is saying, and I didn't feel like I got to that level at all. I think I understood maybe like 20% of what Luis was telling me, and even a lot of that 20% came from her explaining things better in English. She had to translate things a lot, and there were long pauses while I was trying to remember words. My pronunciation wasn't great, my comprehension was horrendous. I mean, all of these things that, I don't know, it wasn't this incredible experience of fluency that maybe I didn't expect, but I'd seen in a lot of other channels. And if you've been in a similar journey yourself, I hope this proves as maybe a level of encouragement that not everybody who learns a new language is suddenly fluent in it after 30 days. But regardless of my proficiency, I don't think I will ever forget seeing Luis's face when I first started speaking French. I mean, that moment to me is precious. And watching her sing her national anthem and, and teach me a new phrase and tell me why she likes being French, what she prefers about the US or France, like, I was still able to understand some of that in French, and I felt like I was able to connect with her on a different level, perhaps. So regardless of how I did and how I sounded and how it turned out, I cannot think of a better way to have spent my last 30 days. I'm going to treasure that memory forever. If you're watching this video and thinking to yourself, wow, this guy still sucks at French. I could do so much better. Well, I encourage you to give it a shot. I've provided all the resources that I use in a Notion document in the description. It has links to any YouTube videos or blogs that I used, as well as a list of every single vocab word and phrase that I learned during my time. If you're watching this and thinking to yourself, wow, I wonder if this guy has made any other videos. He seems so cool. Boy, do I have a treat for you. This is actually my third 30-day challenge, having previously spent a month bulking, as well as a month learning to play guitar. If you enjoyed this video, maybe check out those. They're pretty cool. And finally, if you're thinking to yourself, man, I really want to learn how to box, or how to surf, or how to play volleyball, or how to weave baskets underwater, but I don't know where to start. I just wish there was someone out there who could learn it first so I could copy exactly what they did. Well, you've come to the right channel. Leave a comment letting me know what you want to see me learn next, and subscribe so you don't miss the videos. Merci de voir regarder, et à bientôt. Et la Marseillaise, allons enfants de la patrie, le jour de gloire est arrivé.